Today's top news stories. Hunters have been given the order by the Fish and Wildlife Service to exterminate 500,000 owls, the barred owl specifically, over the next 30 years. The barred owl is an invasive species that has been taking over the Pacific Northwest. It is native to the Northeast United States, and apparently they're having an issue with it. The spotted owl isn't friendly with the barred owl. They don't get along, apparently, so they're getting rid of the barred owl. So 500,000 owls will be exterminated over 30 years. Someone do the math on that. Leave a comment below. 30 years divided by 500,000. That's how many they want killed every single year in the Pacific Northwest. So second news story of the day. Democratic lawmakers unveil bill to allow people in U.S. prisons the right to vote. What do you think about this? Leave a comment below. Representative Ayanna Presley is spearheading this bill that apparently won't pass, but still, they're putting it out there, hoping to get more votes that they could bring in for the 2024 election. Uh, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about that. I think it's a little shady, right? I mean, we've always allowed this whole notion, if you, if you break the law, you're not allowed to vote. You know, there are a few states, though, that apparently do allow you to vote if you are a convicted felon. And that is the kind of little fine line that they're trying to push and say, well, every state should do that because they do that up in Maine. So anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of that. In the real estate news of the day, new legislation proposes to take Wall Street out of the housing market, specifically any hedge funds that own single family homes. The thought behind this is that there are portfolios that are being built around hedge funds and the unlimited and gross amounts of money that they have to spend. They're outbidding all buyers across the board in order to purchase up the single family homes in the United States. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of that. I'm not sure if that will pass. I think that there are too many people behind the machine that won't allow something like this to get through. But leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on that. 3,500 year old ax heads found in Poland. A metal detectorist in Poland unearthed three massive axe heads that to me look like they could be for giants and not for humans. You make the call on that. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. 3,500 years old. Also within the mix, they found this fibula, which is a garment used similar to a brooch, and they'd use it to hold their clothing in and, and clasp their clothing together. This is 2,100 years old. It was found with the axes. And look at the detail in that clasp. It's really beautiful. Look at the detail. In order to have a hinge, anybody that would own something like this was extremely wealthy. And just for a closer look at the actual axe heads, this is them on the wall. I'm jokingly think this is like this. This is like a gallery wall, and those things are for giants, you know. But there is a ruler there. Let's see what that says. If we can get a closer look, it looks like we have. It's about 20 inches long. That's a massive axe head. I think that's for a giant. What do you guys think about that? Leave a comment below. This is the comedy news slash real news. I mean, I, I give it to you straight every day. If you guys enjoy this content, please leave a comment and share. And I'm live every single night on YouTube. Mark Inspire has been 1,801 days in a row. You guys should be there for this. It's ridiculous. They keep it from you because we build positivity and we create a lot of cool songs and get away from the negativity for a little while every day. So hope to see you there. Anyway, until then, thanks so much for watching.